Welcome to the WordPress beginner class from OSTraining.com. I'm excited to have you here. My name is Topher, and I'll be your instructor and guide through this course. If you'd like to get to know a little more about me, you can see my profile here on WordPress.org. I've been a full-time WordPress developer since 2010, and you can see here that I have the plugin, translation, and core developer badges. I also have more than a dozen plugins published on WordPress.org. In this video, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about WordPress. WordPress is quite possibly the most powerful, flexible website builder in the world, and it's free. In this video series, I'm going to show you how to use it. Now, there's two different ways to use WordPress, and I'd like to clarify which one we're going to do right at the beginning. This is WordPress.org. This is where you can download WordPress and put it on your own website and use it that way. This is WordPress.com. WordPress.com allows you to sign up, log in, and you immediately have a blog, and you can start creating content right away. We're not going to be dealing with WordPress.com in this series. We're going to be dealing with your own downloaded version. Let's take a look at a few reasons why you should be using WordPress. WordPress powers more than 25% of the web. Out of the millions and millions, perhaps billions of websites, WordPress powers more than a quarter of them. That's simply incredible. But it doesn't just power little websites that no one cares about. It powers some really big names. The New York Times uses it for all of its blogs. The National Geographic uses it. Forbes uses it. And it's not just for news and blogs. You can use it for just about anything. WordPress was born in 2003, with 1.0 coming out in 2004, and it's had regular releases ever since. With so many people depending on it, it needs to be regularly maintained, with new features being built in on a regular basis. Let's do a quick recap here. WordPress powers more than 25% of the web, and it's behind some of the biggest sites on the web. The New York Times, National Geographic, Forbes, and Dole. Now, WordPress.org allows you to download WordPress software, but WordPress.com is a hosted blogging platform. And WordPress was released in 2003 and has had regular releases ever since. This means that you can depend on it to be there for the long term. You're not going to build your site, and in a year or two or five, have it just disappear on you. WordPress will be around for a long time, and you can count on it. This class is produced by OSTraining.com. OS Training does training for Joomla, Drupal, and, of course, WordPress. And this entire series is made possible by GoDaddy. I'm super grateful for their support on this series and for their willingness to make all of this education available to you for free.